Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today for a brand new pick a card reading. For those of you that are new to my channel, hello, welcome in. My name is Melissa, and today's reading is going to be what's happening in your love life in the month of June. So this is a predictive style reading where we're gonna look to see what situation, energies, events, people of significance are headed your way this upcoming month of June. This is a general reading, so please keep in mind that not every message within your selected pile may resonate super specifically to you. So this is a great time to use your intuition to discern what's meant for you and what might be meant for someone else. As I always say, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. <laughs> With these more predictive style readings to you guys, just always keep in mind that this reading is giving you a snapshot of where you're headed based off of the current energy. Um, the future is not set in stone because energy is always changing based off of the actions you take in life. So if you see something predicted out for you in today's reading for your love life and you don't feel super excited about it, you don't like it, just know that you have the free will to change up the future based off of the energy that you put out and the actions that you decide to take. All right, so if you guys want to see what's happening in your love life this month, let's go ahead and get into your card selection. So we are working with three piles today for this reading. Starting here on the left, we have pile one with some rose quartz. We have pile number two in the middle here with some peach moonstone. And we have pile number three with some clear quartz. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your love life and what's headed your way in the month of June. Go ahead and select the pile or crystal you're feeling the most connected to. And once you have made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box below where you can locate the timestamp that will take you to your reading. See you there. Hey there, pile one. If you guys picked out the rose quartz palm stone, this is gonna be your love reading for the month of June. So we have, I've pre-shuffled pre everything off camera already for today's reading, but stay tuned for those of you that like shuffling because I will be shuffling this deck at the end when we get to our closing messages. So let's start off with your tarot and see what is happening for you all in this upcoming month in love. So we start off here with the Five of Swords, starting things off with a bang. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor card. Okay. So <laughs> initial energies that I'm seeing here with your love life, Pile One, is I feel like this month you guys are kind of reassessing something in love. So whether you guys are in a relationship or you're single, it feels like whatever approach you've been taking to love maybe isn't yielding you the results that you wish to see. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, there's also like a little bit of an air of impatience here where it's like, for some of you, maybe you feel like you've done a lot of work on your love life, whether it's investing effort in a relationship or investing effort into like self-love or healing work, whatever the status of your love life is, it's like, there's the sense of I've have I have invested a lot and I feel like I'm still not seeing the results that I wish to see. I'm still not getting the return on investment that I'm hoping for from this situation. With the 5 of swords here, I am seeing that for some of you that are in relationships, there is a little bit of a conflict energy here. And the 5 of swords is kind of this energy of this petty sort of like tit for tat. Um, it can be an energy like where people have kind of passive aggressive communication with one another. Um, and it's sort of like nobody's, even if it's not literal like bickering or fighting that you guys are experiencing this month, it's just this energy of like both people are in their head and nobody's really willing to let their guard down because being seen as vulnerable would be like kind of losing in a sense. You know, like there's a fear of vulnerability here that I'm seeing in a connection of significance for some. For others of you, if you guys are single, that five of swords is more like your own um, kind of like self-talk to yourself, right? Like for me, whenever I get the five of swords on just like a personal read for myself, this is usually when like I am kind of like letting negative voices in my head bring me down to a level that I don't want to be at, right? So there's definitely something around communication. There's something around um, the way you're thinking about love that's coming through really strong. With the emperor card though, this is really optimistic 
in my opinion, based off what I'm seeing here so far, because to me, this is all about like the solution of how we're going to resolve this situation here. The emperor is all about like putting down strong boundaries, right? Making sure that um, we're taking care of our responsibilities that we have to take care of, right? So whether it's, this is you taking care of yourself um, or whether it's you being the responsible one in a connection, it feels like there's a sense of maturity around this energy this month where it's like proper proper boundaries are being put in place um, or a proper foundation is being set down so that we can better grow the way we want to grow in love. For signs, I'm getting, there's Aries energy here. We also have earth and air energy. So let's continue. Let's see what other information we can get. So we have the first house of arrival. These cards are so beautiful. Um, we also have the conjunction card, alliance. Okay. I feel like with these two cards coming up together, for you guys in love this month, I feel that there's a message here that these two cards together are, are trying to say. I feel like you guys are really examining this month the way that you are perhaps coming across to others because the first house is sort of like about the first impressions that we get. So whether this is like a first impression of someone else or maybe people's first impressions of you, right? Like there's something about the way that you're showing up and the impression that you're leaving on other people here that is coming into the light for you this month. Or it's something that's it's you're examining, you're being forced to examine through the events that are taking place here. And that could be what this Seven of Pentacles is about, right? It's like if you've been struggling in connections with people for whatever reason, I think that there's this illuminating moment where it's like, okay, I may need to like readjust the way that I'm going about these connections so that I can get the results that I want to get. Because ultimately nobody wants this energy of the Five of Swords. Like this is an energy that really is you know, it's not bringing you love into your life, you know? So if you're at this reading, you're probably somebody who wants connection with other people, right? So it feels like the way that you're connecting with others is really being examined. And I also think too, with this first house, something that's important here is sort of like the first house, remember, it's like the first impression. So there's something here too with relationships this month where you guys might be looking into like, you're challenged to look deeper, if that makes sense, um, versus maybe thinking more surface level with your connection. So it kind of ties in with this message of the Five of Swords with vulnerability like we were talking about, right? Because the Five of Swords is when we're not able to be vulnerable, right? We're too afraid to sort of let our guard down and just like tell people how we really feel, whether it's, you know, something, you know, angry we need to express or something loving we need to express. Um, so yeah, it's like there's a theme here of first impressions, but also like re-examining the surface level connections you're making with people and maybe understanding how you can break those walls down. This card here too with the conjunction, um, this is kind of talking about like beneficial partnerships that you're making this month. So I definitely think that there are, there is whether it's like one particular love interest or maybe this is just talking about like the broader community of people in your life, but it's like this situation is being illuminated through the people that you know already or person. So we have the energy of love, we have happy, and we have insecure. Right, it's like, <laughs> it's like, I see that you guys are wanting love in your life. And that's, you know, obviously if you're at this reading, you're curious about what's going to be happening in your love life. Um, and so I think that like you're, you're finding out this month that this sort of energy is not necessarily the energy of love. Like you're wanting to welcome real love into your life in this more surface level kind of like lack of letting our guard down or kind of passive aggressive communication where we're not really saying what we mean to people. This is not going to allow love to flow into your life. And I see this is something that you guys want. So with the seven of pentacles, it's like, let me reassess the situation so that I can understand how to make myself happier, right? How do I draw those happy connections into my life? How do I make this relationship that I'm worried about more happy for both of us. And I think that ultimately this is boiling down to maybe some sort of an insecurity, deep-seated, right? Maybe a fear. 
a fear of being vulnerable that keeps coming up really strongly here. And so that emperor is kind of about like taking charge of the situation and taking control of whatever problem it is that you need to solve and kind of taking that accountability and responsibility for it, for your own healing. We have memories coming up here. We also have friendship. Yeah. With that conjunction card, that's kind of what I was getting, that this month it feels more like your love life is centered around like familiar people that you already know versus like a specific love or romantic interest. That's coming through here with memories as well. So it's like maybe for a lot of you all this month, the, the emphasis is more so on friendship connections or past connections that you have with friends that are kind of bubbling these reflections up to the surface for you. Uh, for some of you guys, there could be one particular friend of significance that's kind of propelling this self-discovery. Um, maybe there's certain memories that you're kind of like thinking back to with this connection. Um, it could be like a, maybe a friendship that you guys are hoping would become romantic in nature versus platonic, right? Um, I feel that for someone out there. But overall, it feels more like you're reflecting on the past. You're reflecting on connections past, energies of love in the past, um, the way that you've shown up. And maybe like it feels like thinking of, you know, how you are the common denominator in all of your connections, right? So if things haven't been going the way you wanted them to go, then you can only come back to yourself, right? Because you can only control you and the choices and decisions that you choose to make and the way you choose to show up in love, right? Let's see. We have past life relationship. You've known each other before. <laughs> yeah. So the past life relationship, you know, again, it's it's just reaffirming the past. Like there's something about the past that's coming back for you guys this month of June. It kind of does make sense because I know that like, um, I'm trying to think right now we're in the sign of Taurus in May, moving into a Mercury retrograde. So we'll just have been coming off of a Mercury retrograde. Um, when this video that I'm recording gets uploaded, right, early June. So, you know, Mercury retrogrades oftentimes bring up people from the past and energies of the past and situations that we've dealt with before uh, because it's sort of like the universe testing us and like to see like, well, I don't like to say the universe testing us because I don't always feel like that's true that the universe tests us. But either way, what I feel this is is like a situation from the past or a familiar feeling from the past coming back up to the surface for you for re-examination to see if you've really learned the ultimate lesson from it, right? Maybe this particular friendship is really triggering to you for whatever reason. There's something about this person that triggers an insecurity within you. Um, for others of you, the past life relationship on a more spiritual level, this is talking about a person that you've known in a prior lifetime, if you believe in that before this. This could be like a person or group of friends that you guys have known in a previous lifetime. You guys are meeting up in this lifetime to work out some healing or work out some karma, right? There's something that your soul is meant to learn from going through this particular scenario that we're talking about here, group one. Um, so yeah, like kind of overall, it just feels to me that your message is more about like healing from the past. So whether this is like an old friendship, an old romantic friendship, uh, romantic relationship, or just reflecting on past relationships and the way that you've shown up in general, the past and kind of healing it and moving forward with being in your power seems to be the common theme here. So Let's close out this reading, Pile 1, with a couple of these Divine Feminine Healing messages just to see anything else that you need to know about your month ahead in love. We have closed. I trust that certain doors are closed for a reason. I do not continue to bang on them. This definitely feels for some of you guys like this is a like an old connection that maybe has lasted beyond its expiration date in a sense. Um, and maybe you guys are finding out that this connection was more surface level. Maybe it wasn't as deep as what you thought that it was. Um, maybe in connecting with this person, you, you realize that they trigger your insecurities or maybe they're insecure and they're not able to kind of meet you where you are, you know? But the lesson here with this is just to release it and let it go and understand the deeper reason why the door is closed and what was the lesson to be learned from it. 
get one more for you. We also have liberation. As I heal, I'm setting us free. Yeah. So overwhelming message here is about letting this go. And you guys, it doesn't mean that you are saying goodbye to someone forever. It just means that right now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> um, it's like liberating yourself from stagnation so that you're able to accept someone into your life who can love you, um, who's open and ready for love versus someone that's insecure or not being clear about what it is that they want, you know? Um, you guys also have unavailable. This rejection is for my divine protection here at the bottom. So it's like, it definitely feels like you're, you're closing a door on something, which kind of goes back to that emperor card of like, okay, you know, the, the emperor is all about setting those clear boundaries. So I think that someone in your life or maybe a group of people in your life is getting a clear boundary set by you this month so that you can free yourself and move on um, in a healthier direction. So pile one, I am going to go ahead and close it out there, but please drop me a comment in the comment box below and let me know how you feel this scenario kind of ties in with your love life this upcoming month of June. Um, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell as well so that you all are aware of whenever I'm uploading new content. And if you do feel guided to support the channel, you can always do so by clicking the super thanks button and send me a super thanks. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another one really soon. Bye. Hey there, pile two. If you guys picked out this moonstone, this peach moonstone, moonstone palm, this is going to be your reading for the month of June for love. So starting off this reading, we're gonna get into your tarot. So for group number two, we start off your reading with the judgment card. We have the empress card, and then we have the two of pentacles. Wow, two major arcana cards here with the judgment card and the empress. Um, we have Taurus energy here on the board, so the sign of Taurus could be significant. But I want to kick things off here with the judgment card. So I feel like for some of you guys, this month in love, it's bringing about a period of like reevaluation, um, almost like a rebirth type of vibe. So the judgment card is kind of this energy of like, we're ready to ascend to the next level. We're ready to start off on a new journey, a new path. And I feel like this new path is leading you to being able to... Um, really step into like your divine feminine energy in like the best way possible. Um, for some of you guys with this Empress card, this new beginning, this like rebirth in your love life could literally be talking about like becoming a mother. Maybe motherhood is something important to your love life this month. And that could be for any scenario out there, whether it's like um, you're giving birth to a child or you're adopting or fostering or whatever the situation is. Um, but either way, with the judgment card, it's like big changes are coming is what I feel. And this is going to be a time where you guys get to decide how you're going to ascend to the next step in your love life. Um, for others of you where maybe you're not necessarily becoming a mother, I feel like this energy is really talking about um, you stepping into your feminine power, really embracing the energy of the divine feminine. So being someone who is more about like leaning back and letting things work for them, um, nurturing, compassion, caring, um, creation of love versus feeling like you need to take action all the time. For some of you too with the judgment card, I do feel this could be talking about a specific connection in your life because I'm seeing the two cats here. And so there might be a really needed change for a specific relationship in your love life as well. Judgment um, is associated with the planet Pluto. And Pluto is something that, it's a planet that brings about massive transformation in your life. So it's also a planet of like deep secrets being revealed um, and things kind of bubbling up to the surface that have been hidden for a long time. So I definitely think that there's a reevaluation period in for some of you guys with a specific connection. And it doesn't have to be a bad thing necessarily. We're going to get more info to see. But it just means that you're kind of like deciding and reassessing a situation, um, reevaluating a situation to see how we're going to move forward, okay? This could be someone from your past too for some of you guys. 
it definitely feels like there are some decisions that you guys are guided to make, especially toward the ending of this month of June. The Two of Pentacles, this is about juggling. It's about weighing the options. It's about needing to make a decision. Something's going to have to come off the plate eventually, right? So for some of you guys, this could be kind of like about um, a financial message if you are becoming like a new mom or a parent. For others of you, though, I feel this is more about this judgment phase, like deciding what am I going to do with this situation? Do I really have the space for this person in my life? Will they stay or will they go? How will I balance it all is kind of the vibe. Um, for some of you that are in connections too, there could just be a lot going on that you guys are both balancing in the connection, right? There could be a lot of things that need to happen um, this month between the both of you, and it could be causing a little bit of this like feeling of juggling or like overwhelmed, like something has to come off of your plate. So we have the square, semi-square quincunx. Okay, so we have some tension coming up here. Makes sense. We also have Sagittarius energy. So we have Sag energy on the board. So there could be a Sagittarius of significance. Starting over here, though, with this square, semi-square quincunx. So this is definitely talking about, like, kind of a period of tension or a period of um, conflict, perhaps, in your love life. Look at these two birds. You see how they're kind of clashing up against each other here? So that could be where this energy of needing to reevaluate things is really coming from, right? Because maybe you and this person have two totally opposing viewpoints on certain things, or you're on different pages about like how you want to live your life. I'm noticing here in the judgment card how we have one cat that's like sitting up straight and like at really attentive. The other one is in a more relaxed position. This could potentially signify the dynamics at play in a connection for some of you, where one person is more relaxed, one person is more intentional. Um, but this is definitely an energy of like tension. There's, there's a lot of things that might be clashing between you and a person, different backgrounds, um, different viewpoints on certain things. But with Sagittarius energy coming in here, this is giving you the opportunity to, like the card says, expand. Because Sagittarius is sort of like the curious one, like the traveler, um, thinking more globally about things versus just like in our own little perspective of things, if that makes sense. Um, so I think that you're, through this energy of conflict, you have an opportunity this month to really explore the other person's perspective on things um, and see things from a much bigger, higher perspective, which the judgment card talks about as well, looking at the big picture versus looking at um, just like our own little myopic point of view. For, with Sagittarius coming in as well, there could, this could also be talking about expansion of like the family for some of you guys. And, and I think that it, it could cause a little bit of tension if you're moving through like a change, right? Like sometimes when we're, not sometimes, but having a child is a huge change. So for any of you out there that that is your scenario, I feel like this is just about exploring this new time in your life, in your love life. But there just might be some tension because it's a big change. Travel could be a thing for some of you guys this month as well. So we've got unstable future. We have secrets coming to light. Oh my gosh. And then we have ready for love. Yeah, so there definitely is this like judgment energy being here because of the tension. Right? Like I think that scenario really, really resonates with what I'm picking up in this reading. Like some of this tension is causing you guys to kind of reassess the situation in a much more meaningful way because the judgment card is also about, it's not just about reevaluation. It's about like a life review. So it's like, is this connection going to provide stability for the future? Is this person stable for me? Like, are they the right fit for me? Like, how will this person really fit into my life, right? Because Two of Pentacles for me is also about like, how does someone genuinely fit onto my plate in my life, right? Do I have the space for them? With the Empress card here, secrets coming to light. So there's there's something 
there's something coming to the light about this situation that's been in the dark, which we were talking about earlier with the judgment card and Pluto, right? So there's something being revealed to you this month that I think will be influencing your decision making. I can't say what that is. You know, it's, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, it is clarifying the Empress card here. So it's making me feel like it could have to do with a feminine energy. So for those of you watching this and you're like maybe connecting with a feminine energy this month, it, it could be a secret coming to light about that person. Um, this could be a secret coming to light about a mother figure in your life. It could just be coming to the realization that, like, you're going to have to nurture this connection more based off whatever it is that you hear. But it, I think that you guys are kind of in this place where you're you're trying to decide, are you ready for this? You know, um, some of you guys, I think you are ready for love. I think you are ready to expand. But I think with Sagittarius energy, like, this, this is such a, an energy of, like, exploration and independence and... You know, looking at the bigger picture of your life, and I, I, I feel that's more what this is about with this reading. It's like, is this person, is this situation in my love life from the like much bigger picture, is this really something that I'm ready for right now? Is this really something that I have the capacity to manage with all of the other things that I have going on? Let's continue. We have trust. And we have daydream. <laughs> Interesting. So you guys may have been doing a lot of daydreaming about this situation or this person. And um, maybe dreaming of them, manifesting them. And maybe your daydreams are different from the reality when you connect with them. <laughs> Which is always entirely possible, right? But I, I also think this is about you guys maybe having a vision for what it is that you're wanting in your love life. You've been, you've been daydreaming about this a long time. And so perhaps if a situation isn't quite in alignment with what you've been manifesting, that's where we come into this need to make a choice, right? Trust is being highlighted here as well. So this could be something, um, especially with the unstable future and the secrets coming to light, trust could be a theme that some of you guys are working through this month, um, especially with, you know, judgment being like Pluto, things coming up to the surface from being in the dark. Um, there could be a trust issue worked out this month. Um, but I'm also getting that, like, you guys are just being guided to trust in the universe, too. That, like, whatever is going to be will be. And you do seem to be in a much more big picture perspective from the way you're thinking about this. We also have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's another message about trust coming up. Um, I feel this is advice for you guys as well. It might be important for you to work on your heart chakra, you know, opening up your heart, um, being more vulnerable with love interests. And maybe this is why we have that two of pentacles here, clarified by ready for love. There's a decision to be made um, around if you're ready to open your heart or not. And that's okay. Sometimes we're not ready. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and close out your reading with a couple of these little Divine Feminine Healing messages, Pile 2. We have fate. I will never forget you, my love, but I must continue on with my life. If we are meant to be, the universe will find a way. Yeah. So there's like that trust in the universe coming up here with this this connection. It, it definitely feels like um, you guys might be making the decision to let go of something this month. And it again, it doesn't have to mean that like you're never going to talk to this person again. It just might mean that this is not the time for this person and you. We also have is issues. I realize that everyone has their own issues to heal in this life. I cannot do the work for anyone else but myself. You know, that makes a lot of sense, you guys, with the Empress card coming up, with the secrets coming into light, because, you know, this is telling me that, like, you guys possess a lot of healing energy, and I feel like maybe this person, you know, 
when you're connecting with them, the tension might be coming from like that this person has their own emotional healing that they need to do. And you can very easily maybe slip into this energy of like being the nurturer and like taking care of this person and like propping them up when really like you guys might be ready for love that's more reciprocal, you know, where it's not just about you giving so much and nurturing so much, receiving not enough in return, right? So it seems like whoever you guys are connecting with, they have their own things that they need to work out. And I think you guys are, it seems like you're realizing this by the ending of the month, that it might not be their best timing for you and this person and that you're ready to expand into something, you know, different. So um, pile two, we're going to close out your reading here, but I would love to hear from you in the comments how you feel that this resonates with your specific situation this month of June. Um, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you all are aware of whenever I'm uploading my new content. And if you do feel guided to support the channel, you can always um, tip me by hitting the super thanks button um, that is located just above the description box below. Thanks, guys. Hey there, group three. If you guys picked out the clear quartz, this will be your reading. We're going to go ahead and take a look and see what's happening for you in love in the month of June. So starting off with your tarot cards... We have the energy of the fool. We have the six of cups. Oh, I like this. And we have the queen of wands. Okay. Well, this energy looks beautiful, you guys. Um, so starting off with the fool, I, I feel like you guys are kind of like embarking on this new sort of carefree journey in your love life. Um, this is all about just kind of like taking a leap of faith into something new. I feel like a lot of playful energy here. I feel like you guys are having a lot of fun. I almost think some of you guys are also, this B is really catching my eyes. So there's an energy here of maybe putting a little bit more work or effort into your love life. So maybe this is an effort to like meet people, maybe effort to nurture a new relationship, but the effort is going to be more about having fun. It's more about carefree, kind of like non-committal energy, not really worrying so much about the outcome, right? The Fool card is all about kind of taking that leap of faith, um, kind of like as a beginner, right? So when you're beginning on a journey, you're not taking it super seriously just yet. You're not like fully committed to it just yet. Um, it's more so just about enjoying the experience is the energy I'm getting from this card. And with the Six of Cups being here, I feel like this could signify either like a past friendship, uh, maybe a past relationship, a romantic connection that you guys are like, reuniting with this month um <clears throat> this could just be a familiar like love connection that you've already been in for a long time right lots of scenarios here but it definitely feels like there is a person of significance showing for you this month in love um that you do have a history with because the six of cups talks about like our past so this could be like that childhood friend, like I was saying, or like just a connection you've been with for a long time or just someone you've known a long time. It, it feels like there's a new beginning with this person or sort of like a revival of the energy in this connection of like infusing more of that fun sort of energy into it again, that carefree energy. We also have a queen of wands here. So um, this I see is like you guys being very confident in yourselves this month in love. Some of you guys may find yourselves like attracting a lot of potential suitors or just like having a lot of attention on you. Um, but this is also about like having that magnetic personality that like people are just naturally drawn to. Um, so you guys probably are feeling really good about yourselves. Like inner confidence is like soaring. I think some of you guys might be putting a lot of effort into your physical appearance this month as well. So this could be like doing like workouts or like getting a new wardrobe or something along those lines where like you're just physically very attractive and feeling really confident about yourselves both inside and out um we do have fire energy and water energy here so let's continue on and see what else we get so we have uranus of change okay and then we have virgo well that's those are interesting energies So <laughs> I kind of feel like going back to the effort with the fool, you know, what I'm being called to in this card are like this harvest here, this wheat that's being harvested. So there is definitely this energy this month of you guys 
kind of maybe seeing um, bearing the fruits of your labor as it pertains to love. So like whatever efforts you guys have put in, I think you're starting to finally see some changes. So whether you've been putting effort into this connection or putting effort into your own self-esteem and your self-confidence, or maybe even just like putting effort into like not taking things so seriously all the time and trying to have fun, you're seeing those the fruits of your labor this month. This It feels very positive. Uranus, however, this is really interesting because Uranus is all about like swift and sudden changes, right? Unexpected changes sometimes. And so whatever it is that is changing, I do feel it's going to hit you like a lightning bolt. <laughs> um, it's going to hit you like a lightning bolt. It's going to maybe feel a little bit jarring once you come to this realization. It doesn't even have to be like a physical change. It could just be a realization moment that you guys have. Maybe the realization is about like the effort that you're putting in or maybe something happens where you realize, okay, I need to get really organized here and like create a plan out of this like chaos or whatever. But either way, it definitely feels like big changes are happening in your love life this month. It feels like it's for the better. We're going to get some more information though because that Uranus is like, sometimes it can be really shocking. So, so far so good. Let's keep going. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. So we have no, we have energy vampire. We have this is special. Interesting. Okay. Um, so there's something that you guys are saying no to this month in love. I don't know. Let me see. I'm almost wondering if there's some sort of opportunity being presented to you with the fool here where you're you're saying no and maybe choosing a more comfortable connection instead. Um, I think, though, whatever you guys are saying no to, I would trust your intuition. Like, I feel like it's more of a personal message that's coming through with this card of no. Like, Whatever your intuition is telling you, this is the answer. You know, like whatever question you have on your mind, this is the answer, I think is, is what I'm trying to say here. But the other thing I feel is like, I think there's an energy here of this connection, um, especially with the energy vampire coming up. It's like, this is usually when like certain connections kind of drain us or deplete us in a sense. You know, maybe for some of you guys, you're dealing with a queen of wands type of energy that can be very, um, well, queen of wands is very confident. It can also be kind of an overbearing energy sometimes um, where somebody's just really loving like the limelight. They have to be in charge. They like the spotlight, whatever. There could be something about the person you're dealing with that feels draining at times or maybe just like the energy of this connection in the past, whatever change it's going through, could be draining you of your energy and you're saying no to this as well. But with Virgo here, it's like there's an element of responsibility of like needing to take care of it, right? Making sure that you're resolving the situation, taking care of the situation and not letting it overtake your life. Because it definitely feels like whoever you guys are connecting with, you're feeling really excited about this. You know what I mean? Um, you, there's like acknowledgement here that this person is special to you. This connection is special. Or if you're single, that your own self-confidence and the efforts you've put in is special. Great, like special changes that you're making. We have guarded. Okay. We have family. For some of you guys, this Six of Cups is talking about um, children as well. Like maybe some of you guys with the family card here, um, you're spending a lot of time with your children this month and maybe that's been draining or exhausting. You know, the responsibilities of motherhood or fatherhood, parenthood, et cetera, can be draining, right? So maybe getting some alone time or some fun time to yourself is special to you this month. But for others of you, I think like if this is talking about a specific connection in your life, it's like, I think this energy vampire energy, 
I'm so I keep saying the word energy. I think this energy of the energy vampire, it's like you you have your guard up a little bit around this person. But it doesn't necessarily feel all bad. You know what I mean? I feel like this is just a lesson you all are learning around like setting healthy boundaries in a relationship and not necessarily letting someone in all the way until you know them for real. We also have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, it makes sense with the Queen of Wands. This definitely feels like a very, like, this definitely feels like a connection that's got a lot of chemistry, a lot of, like, attraction. Um, maybe there's a lot of surprises that this person brings to the table, and maybe, like, you like that, but it can be draining at times, too, you know? Um, so let's see, pile three. I want to, um, we're going to close out your reading with just a couple of these divine feminine healing messages to just see what else you need to know about your love life as you navigate this situation. We have promise. I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. So yeah, I think you guys, especially if you're connecting with a new person, I think that you're, maybe this feeling of being guarded is coming from you know, past situations where things haven't gone the way that you've wanted it to go. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is just a message from spirit for you to remember, like you deserve the absolute best, right? And enjoy this connection while it's here, but make sure that you're not settling for less than what you know that you deserve from an effort perspective. Because it definitely feels with that Virgo card that you guys are putting an effort into this this month. And you want that to be reciprocated. Okay, we have unavailable. This rejection is for my divine protection. Okay, interesting. I wasn't really feeling a lot of rejection energy from this, but this came out for a reason for someone out there. So maybe this is what the change could be talking about, you know? Like maybe, maybe there's like, this sense of this connection going really well and then they surprise you that like oh, they don't really they're not really into it or you're not really into it or something but I think if that specifically isn't resonating I think just in general both of these cards are more just messages of advice for you pile three where it's like because I, I for some reason I just keep feeling like this pile is like connecting with someone new and like just starting to date again for whatever reason that might not be the case for all of you but if that is your situation, I think just remember that rejection is protection and that if something doesn't work out with this person, it's because that's not your person and there's something better out there for you, okay? So just keep your eye on the big picture, I guess is what I'm saying. So pile three, we're going to go ahead and close out your reading, but I would really love to hear from you in the comments what aspects resonate with your love life or what you think is happening in your love life this month. So drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you did enjoy this reading and you feel guided to support the channel, you can always tip me by hitting the super thanks button here on YouTube. Um, and if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you guys are aware of whenever I'm uploading new content. See you soon.